Hi foxes and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, welcome. My name is Brittany and I am known as Shot Fox Bro on sites like Poshmark and Instagram and Etsy and Clubhouse and um, today we are going to be asking and answering the question, what the hell is dark academia? So if you have found yourself wondering what dark academia is, you've seen it on TikTok or you've seen it on Instagram or your, you know, Gen X kid has mentioned it. Um, well, today we are going to answer that question and specifically we are going to take a look at the styles within the dark academia um, aesthetic and we are going to take a really close look at exactly how to sort of dress in the dark academia style and know um, like the specific patterns and matching um, that sort of goes into the whole look. So if that sounds interesting to you and you want to know more about dark academia then stick around. <laughs> So we're going to sort of divide this video into a couple of different categories. First is going to be like what is um, academia and specifically dark academia. And then we are going to take a really close look at dark academic fashion. And then we're going to kind of like flip the tables and be like, okay, well, if that's dark, then what is light? So light academia is also a thing and we are going to be covering that today too. If you like this sort of content, if you like fashion, or if you like learning about certain styles or vintage style, or um, you stock this kind of thing in your vintage shop and you want to know like more about how to tag these items, then do make sure to give me a like and a follow, a thumbs up, you know, and a subscribe, all that stuff. And um, yeah, let's just go ahead and dive right on into the core of this video. So it's one thing for me to talk about dark academia and then it's another thing entirely um, to actually see it and to kind of like get a true feel for it. So I'm going to give you a little basic rundown of what it is and then we're going to leap into sort of like an array of pictures and images and um, just things that evoke that dark academic style um, and that aesthetic and sort of give you a better idea of what we're looking at. So here we have the reading room at the Bodleian Library in Cambridge. This is at Oxford University. And this is another um, sort of visual of the Bodleian Library, a uh, different part of it. Uh, but you see the arches and the stone. This is the oldest room and the oldest reading room in the Bodleian Library. You see the old books, the old wooden tables, the you know supports on the ceiling. And this is the oldest room in the Bodleian Library. Um, and yeah, just very like dark, like gothic stone and wood style. And this is actually uh, Yale. This is the reading room at Yale. And this is the uh, rare book, the Beinecke at Yale. And um, that's where they keep their rare books and manuscripts. Again, more, this is stained glass from um, the Beinecke in Yale University. And here we have Widener Library at Harvard. So you can see this is like a very um, like rich white people aesthetic, I guess. Um, but it's also got a lot to do with like that pursuit of just like knowledge and old books. And it just happens to be that a lot of the old books and the old libraries um, are in the hands of wealthier white people. Um, this is just another very classic like academic you can see the um, paintings on the walls this is a private study i think at either yale or harvard um it's like very dark wood paneling this is kind of like a modern imagination of like what academia 
and just like loving books and knowledge looks like ultimately uh, and this is just somebody's you know, bookshelf it's got stuff shoved onto it photos that they took maybe old Polaroids books with beautiful spines this kind of like embodies the whole um, look that I guess that we are trying to convey in fashion so you're trying to convey the image that you belong here in this world with these books um, constantly just pursuing knowledge so to really understand dark academia you really have to also understand um, modern and um, romanticized like English academia. So what we're really looking at is like Ivy League schools like Harvard, like Yale. We're looking at um, schools in the UK like Oxford or um, Cambridge and just the like surrounding towns and the libraries and really ultimately the pursuit of knowledge and just like the absolute passion that comes with being an academic. So it doesn't necessarily mean like, a, you know, an undergrad, although some undergrads are of course headed in that direction. We're talking about like the lifelong pursuit of knowledge and just like being in the academic sphere for your entire life. So you've got, you know, First you've got your undergrad, then you've got a master's, then you go for PhD, and then there's like more after that, like writing papers, and it's just like that endless pursuit of knowledge and just getting so caught up in something um, that you're just like staying up all night to learn more about it, or you're scribbling notes in a cafe, or um, you're, you know, say it's 1800, you're like writing by candlelight because you want to get this thesis or this paper published. Um, and so there's just like this whole arc of um, sort of falling in love with the pursuit of learning and then just sort of like going up, 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 and then just your entire life, like you're just in pursuit of um, knowledge. And um, that sort of mindset is what is really behind like the whole dark academia vibes. There is some controversy that this is a very like Eurocentric um, and um, you know white centric like sphere, um, especially if you look back at a lot of the glorified older uh, writers, they are mostly going to be white. But um, I wouldn't say that it is exclusive. I just think that um, we also have to be careful not to like whitewash the contributions of, you know, people of color in the academic world, which I think tends to happen a lot, and so there is some concern with that. Um, but for the purpose of this video, we're just going to be sort of looking at, like, the overall, like, places and aesthetic and, like, visual images, and then we'll jump into the fashion part. So let's just go ahead and jump into some images, and then as I show you these images, I'll kind of talk about them and how they relate to, um, the academia, like, aesthetic as a whole. This is a woman writing a letter by candlelight. That's the name of the painting. It's by, um, a Dutch painter. And it just kind of gives off that dark vibe. Here we see the city of, um... Cambridge in England and just sort of like the dark look of the streets and a stack of beautiful books on a bookshelf with the antique the peak at the gates to get into the Bodleian another collection of beautiful books a lot of poetry um very like popular in this aesthetic dark and moody stacks of books cups of tea knits glasses Looking through books in a bookshop. Writing in old-fashioned ways with typewriters. 
quills, ink pens. So now that you have a little bit of a grasp of what the whole aesthetic sort of looks like outside of fashion, let's go ahead and dive into what dark academia is inside of fashion and like what that look entails. So to do that, I'm going to jump into a number of things from Pinterest and from Instagram and um, sort of take a close look at how the sort of influencers in this aesthetic are um, setting the tone and like how they're mixing and matching and a little bit of the more specific things that you might want to pick up if you were trying to put a dark academic look together or if you were trying to tag them in say your vintage listings. One of the things I think I like the most about dark academic fashion is that it's full of staple pieces. And you'll see a lot of like turtlenecks and browns and blacks and creams. You'll see poet blouses. You'll see trousers and they're going to be in darker colors and then a lot of plaids. But it's notable that the plaids are like a smaller plaid. They're not like a larger bold plaid. There's corduroys. There's going to be high waists with interesting waistlines um, and just a lot of like simple colors and richer like uh, textures. You'll see a lot of belted waistlines and button down shirts, turtleneck sweaters, sweater vests skirts, pinafores. You'll also see a lot of leather boots and leather booties or um, like Oxford style shoes. Berets are a huge fashion piece accessory. You'll see a lot of small gold tone jewelry, a lot of long coats in basic colors like um, wool coats or trench coats in basic colors. So now that we've seen a little bit more of what dark academia is, what <laughs> is light academia? You might think like, oh, it's just, you know, the exact same thing except like lighter colors. But in general, there's actually sort of like a different, um, there's a lot of overlap between the two, but the aesthetic and the feel is a little bit different. So for this one, we're thinking like, um, sort of more Roman architecture and Italian architecture and we're looking at like um, cathedrals and just like arches and marble and limestone and so it's more of like a, a light aesthetic instead of that sort of dark and um, gloomy like the Bodleian um, Cambridge sort of aesthetic. And for this, a lot of the styles are very similar, but you're going to have a lot of lighter fabrics and you're going to have more of the lighter colors, like a, a light academia look would not involve a dark pair of pants or, you know, a black top. It's going to be more of like the um, tan pants and like a cream top. So let's go ahead and look at some light academic looks and you'll see that there's a lot of crossover um, but generally the pants and um, like the bottoms are going to be sort of what sets this whole look apart. A satchel is going to be one that is very good for both dark and light academia. And then here you can kind of see that dainty um, jewelry and the white top and the tan pants. This is like an all over monochromatic sort of look, um, but definitely on the lighter side. The little pleated schoolgirl skirts are going to be a good one. 
and you have like a lighter turtleneck again with the light pants on the bottom that's going to be pretty much specifically for light academia you've got the oversized like white button-up shirt you've got that belted look again and this one is got more of like a dark trouser pant but a very light and billowy top and this is what is called a poet blouse. Um, a lot of times they'll have like ruffles and just big... This look is a favorite of mine. It's got that ribbed top. It's got a very classic um, jewelry and it's got like a lighter plaid pant on the bottom. Okay, so that is my primer on what dark academia is. If you want to dress in the dark academic style, or if you would like to be able to tag things that you are selling, or if you want to sort of go out thrifting and find things that are in this style, this guide should have helped you to do that, and I hope that you found it useful. I do have one on cottagecore style coming up, so I hope that you will go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my other videos. Okay, bye!